Hey gang, welcome back to Wednesday Alice. My name is Alice. Today is really exciting. I think I start every video that way. They can't all be exciting, but I think today is exciting because I have just arrived in Falkirk. Yay! Falkirk is a large town in Scotland. It takes about an hour to get here from Edinburgh. It's kind of like northwest-ish of Edinburgh. Um, I've been here before, but it's been a very long time. I was much younger and um, I think we only went to see the Kelpies. So I'm excited to be here. The reason I'm actually here today is because there is a shop in Falkirk called The Lonely Broomstick, which is a Harry Potter shop. And it looks a little bit like, um, oh, what's it called? Dang, I can't remember now. There's a shop in, um, I can't remember, Matlock. There's a, oh my goodness. I, I'm tired, okay? I'm still recovering from being unwell. Um, there's a shop in Matlock that's a Harry Potter shop, but it's more like independent creators. It's less merch and more like fans who have made stuff. And I think this has kind of got a similar vibe. So really, really excited to go and have a look. And then once I've looked, I think I'll go and stop at the Kelpies because they, of course, link to Harry Potter being a Fantastic Beasts and they do feature in Fantastic Beasts. So very, very excited. Um, I think the Lonely Broomstick is quite small and quite quiet. Um, so I don't want to go in with a camera and be like, look at this, look at this, look at this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the whole thing and then do like a little bit of a commentary over the top. So let's go. So this was the outside of the Lonely Broomstick. It looked so cool. I mean, what a cool display, right? I was so excited to go in. It definitely looked different from all the other shops that were on the street. So when you first walk in, um, there's loads of different cards. Most of them are branded cards that you've probably seen before. And then this was the potion shelf, which was so cool. So most of it you couldn't buy. You can kind of see that a lot of it's just decor for the shop. But you could buy potion replicas and like butterbeer glasses and potion lights. I was really tempted by a potion light. They were very cool. Moving over, it was more like, oh, well, I'll show you these little pumpkins that I bought, which you'll see in a minute. Um, we have the books and little nifflers and some ghosts. And then this was more like books and notebooks, but those knitted characters were so cute. I was very tempted <laughs> by them. Then that stall there, which I didn't get a good look at, unfortunately, was very busy. Um, that had like clothing, like scarves and jumpers and things like that in there. And then they had an amazing flying motorbike. How cool is that? Uh, so you could get photos there if you wanted. This was the sweet section. So there were lots of sort of Harry Potter themed sweets and lollipops and mugs. They weren't all Harry Potter themed. Some of them were like Disney themed, for example, but um, you could buy some glasses there as well. Through those doors is where you can actually do a potion making class if you sign up. But I know that's very in demand. And they had lots of sweets and butter beer and things like that here. So this was definitely <laughs> the most popular section with the children. That's for sure, um, but really cool. Uh, so some of it was branded stuff like the butterbeer. Some was stuff that the Lonely Broomstick had kind of made themselves. So over here was some knitted mandrakes. This was kind of like a herbology corner, I guess. Different plants, a couple more potions, really cute. And then inside that case there that you just saw, here are some pins and some earrings and little knickknacks. In the cases were more like expensive things. So there was some proper jewelry in there and uh, some um, replicas and things like that. Things that I didn't dare touch because I would have broken it. Um, and then this was kind of like the dark arts corner. So a couple of sort of uh, dog marked stuff, witchy things, um, what's the word, crystals, you know, that has got that kind of vibe to it. I really, really liked that corner. And then some more fun earrings and a bunch of candles themed around different foods and things like that. And then we were back to the window display there. So yeah, oh, and they had mystery books, which was really, really fun. So if you like that kind of thing, I think you'd enjoy that section. But yeah, what a cool shop. Guys, that was the best shop ever. Like, hands down, the best Harry Potter shop I've ever been to that's not, like, the Harry Potter shop at Warner Brothers. Sorry, my glasses are steaming up. You can probably tell because I've just got in the car. That was amazing. It was so busy when I went in there, and I think it's just one of those shops that's always going to be busy because I've got there when it's opened, and it was already rammed. You can probably tell by the footage. So um, apologies that you might not get, like, the best look ever, but hopefully you've got, like, a general overview of what it is and what it looks like and the kind of stuff that it sells. But I was blown away. It's the first time I've been in a shop, and I've literally just wanted to buy every single thing that that they sell the staff were really friendly there was like a little takeaway cafe thing i actually got a drink 
hold on i don't want to spill it <laughs> so you can get pretty much everything in hot chocolate or um slushy form i went for slushy because i don't like hot chocolate and this is their polyjuice potion it's just sour apple and like, i live my whole life for sour apple so very happy it tastes amazing and I also got quite a big haul, so um, if I can balance the phone in this car, I'll show you now. Okay, couldn't do it, but I'll just hold you guys. So, <laughs> first thing I got, it's not really Harry Potter related, but I just thought it was so cute. And it's this tiny <laughs> little pumpkin plant. Look at it. You can get it in loads of different sizes. This is the smallest one. It's like a proper pot and everything. So, I'm really excited to put that on my windowsill. I already know that's where it's going to go. So, not necessarily Harry Potter related, but just generally so stinking cute i couldn't leave it there the next thing i got is a gift from my mum because i just thought it was so funny oh that um pumpkin thing was like around 15 pounds this was 13 pounds and it's literally it's a key ring and it's literally just a little mandrake and i just thought it was so ugly but so cute at the same time so i got that for my mum because i think she'll find that really funny um what else did i get i'm literally just pulling in here oh i got this was uh, 15 pounds a tiny little knitted niffler how cute is that again you could get a bigger one but i just went for the little one and inside is little knitted coins let me see if i can get one out i mean <laughs> is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen so I don't normally go for Fantastic Beast merch, but we're having a bit of a Fantastic Beast day and I just couldn't resist. I mean, that is so stinking cute. <laughs> and then the final, no, the second to last thing I got were these earrings. And these are the only like official branded merch that I got because they did have some in there. These were six pounds and they're earrings and it's the little chocolate frog like box and a little chocolate frog. They're so cute. So I'm probably going to put them on in a minute. I got the last pair as well and then finally they had a whole sweet section so i got the lonely broomstick magical chocolate frogs and they're literally just chocolate frogs in a box thing so very excited i'll have one of them i know they're just pure chocolate um but i'll probably keep most of them and just have it as like a display thing in my room um they were like five pounds they were much cheaper than you'd think they'd be so overall i spent about 50 pounds in there Ugh, i've got no money it's near payday so i'm broke at the moment but totally worth it i'm so happy with what i got i'd never seen any of the things i bought before on sale and i got a drink out of it so yeah dead chuffed really happy with the stuff that i got so let me know what your favorite thing was okay i have just had something to eat i went to mcdonald's don't tell anybody i didn't even really want mcdonald's but you know sometimes you just want something warm and quick and mcdonald's is basically the only option but yeah i've, I've recently got really into double cheeseburgers i was never a double cheeseburger gal i was always a big mac gal but something about them just hit the spot right now but i want to know your opinion on mcdonald's pickles or just pickles in general being on stuff are you for or are you against but i'm very very pro pickle <laughs> so let me know what you think but anyway um i've eaten now so i feel a little bit better my energy was kind of flagging a little bit and now i'm gonna drive to the kelpies which are about 10 minutes away so i will meet you there Okay, so I have arrived at the Kelpies Park. The Kelpies are actually in Helix Park. So it's like, it's not just the Kelpies. There's like a big children's play area over there. It actually looked really cool. Um, and places just to walk and cycle and things like that. So I wasn't sure about the parking situation. It is lunchtime on a Saturday. So I've just parked in the very first car park that you come across. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a hike <laughs> to get to the Kelpies, but that's okay. It's actually not too cold today but yeah really nice place nice place to come even if you're not that interested in the kelpies so i feel like i should probably explain what the kelpies actually are <laughs> so they are a mythical beast um specific to scotland so um it's a bit like the loch ness monster i suppose it's like specifically a scottish thing and they're in scottish water and they're essentially seahorses but not seahorses in the way you might think they're more like horse seas but they're like actual horses that can swim in the water. Um, so they live in like Scottish locks and seas and things like that. And um, this massive sort of monument statue thing of the Kelpies has been made. And it's pretty amazing. It's a really cool piece of art. Even if you're not that into art, I think you'd like it. Um, and they're now become like a big attraction for people to come and see. So you'll get what I mean when you see them, but they're very cool. We have our first glimpse of them. 
<laughs> as I'm walking along, I always forget how huge they are. It is kind of scary. If you're interested in boats and rivers and stuff, there's actually quite a few locks along here. If you don't know, long story short, um, a boat would go in here and obviously it would be locked so you can go through and then they raise or lower the water level uh, so it would match the rest of the river. I think that's my layman's way of explaining it. I see loads of houseboats and things like that along here so even if you're not that interested in that <laughs> there is still some really cool things to see along here and it is just a really really nice walk. We have made it to the Kalkis. Yes. I can't stress to you how big they are. Hopefully with like those people walking past, you can see just how huge they actually are. Um, but the idea is that obviously they've got a horse's head, but more of like a fish body. So this monument is supposed to be like their heads just popping out of the water. But that's how big they're supposed to be. <laughs> Mythical beasts in Scotland are never like cute little sprites and imps and things like that. They're always like these horrific, great big water beasts <laughs> or demons. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are pretty spectacular. I do think that they're never really going to be that well captured on video. It's one of those things you kind of just have to see it in real life to appreciate just how amazing and huge they actually are. And you'll see they're literally just made of bits of metal. Pretty sure you can actually go inside them if you want. I think there's a tour going on at the moment because there's someone talking to people in there, but yeah. Huge. Oh yeah, see, tour. But you can go in there. Order a tour if you want. I'm not going to, but you can. So to get over to the other one, you have to go over another lock. You can see there's actually big sheets of ice in there. I don't know, I'm just not feeling that cold, but it obviously is very cold. Over to the second one. It's actually a little like quote there. Stretch up your long necks to face the sun. I'm not sure if that's like from something. But the fact is next to this one makes a lot of sense. And then there's the other one. I just think they're beautiful. I think they're so cool. I like anything that's like, oops, my fingers are always in shot. I like anything that's kind of like got a, a, like something ominous to it. And I think because these are so huge, they just sort of fit the bill for me. They're just really scary, but in like the coolest way. One last shot of them. <sighs> so cool. Let me know what you guys think. But in terms of what's around here, I can see there's like a little pizza cart place over there. And then, I don't know how well you can see. Oh, the sky looks nice. There's like miniature versions there as well, if you wanted to get like a better look. Um, a little coffee place and a gift shop. And I'm very interested to see what the gift shop actually offers other than just little things of them but we'll see so the gift shop was kind of just what you think like a couple of cool kelpie stuff and some like general scotland stuff as well so if you're a tourist here definitely might interest you but as someone who's lived here my whole life not so much um but there is like a cafe and some bathrooms in there as well if you are gonna spend like quite a long time here it's good to know that that's available but yeah i'm now leaving the kelpies actually I don't know where they've gone. They're somewhere behind me. Um, and now I'm pretty much just going to do the hour drive back home and have a shower because I am starting to feel quite cold. I definitely need to warm up, but I've had such a good day here. The Lonely Broomstick was like the coolest shop I've ever been in. And I'm really glad um, about my haul. I'm really happy with what I got. Definitely recommend coming here if you can. Falkirk Grahamston is like the nearest train station to the lonely broomstick if you're coming from like edinburgh or glasgow you could very easily get the train here um you would need to then get a bus or a taxi out here if you wanted to visit the kelpies which is also amazing i never get tired of seeing them and i'm not like an art person normally i'm just like Ugh, whatever but there's something about them that's just really unique and really amazing so we've had a very harry potter day bought a lot of harry potter stuff and gone to see some fantastic beasts so 
what more could you want but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next week bye